Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. In this video today, we're going to go back to basic. We're going to talk about an important parameter, slice resolution. It can be a little bit difficult parameter, however, I will try to explain to you in an easy way and show you live how it works. So if you're interested, stick around and I'll show you. For those who are new, my name is Bakhtin again. I'm a number right red aquifer. In my channel, I'm covering things about basic to advanced number right topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. Slice resolution is a very difficult parameter. I mean, for myself, I took years for me to learn and I couldn't quite understand why because we're talking about interpolation. Early in my previous videos where you can click up in here or here, I did some interpolation videos, but that's on 2D. It's on frequency and phase interpolation not on the slice so slice resolution it's on 3d sequences okay it's not available on 2d sequences however let's go to the scan and i will try to explain to you in an easy way all right currently we are doing a uh, liver imaging i just did a liver imaging just to easier for you to to understand what i'm talking about is for me to show you so we already did a localizer here and i have a coronal haste and then the transversal haste let's find a 3d we can find it in Siemens 3 right here for the abdomen library. In the 3D, we have a lot here. So we just take a transversal vibe disk. So let's open that one. Just try to tune in the position, even though I'm not going to run the sequence. If we hover over the resolution up in the right corner, as you can see here, you have your mouse over here. Then you can see an acquisition is now for the phase 1.58 frequency 1.19 and then the slice is six how come the slice thickness be six when you says here three millimeter well that, that's what i'm about to show you if you go to resolution tab it says here slice resolution 50 percent that means that if you acquire or if you choose three millimeter 50 percent upon that is six millimeter that's what it is so it, it basically it means that you are acquiring now six millimeter but you then interpolate it down to three millimeter so why so the reason for that is that you'll be able to do the breath hold or it will be too long to do the breath hold and another thing is that if you choose 100 percent that will be a true three millimeter no interpolation in the slice okay but then you also lose a lot of signal so there's a compensation for that it's either win or lose win some you lose some we we know all that about that more right so as we can see i showed you earlier this is the reason six millimeter you're acquiring six millimeter 50 percent so that means that you interpolate it down three millimeter so how can we do a true three millimeter well if you want to do a true three millimeter you choose a hundred here then we go from 15 seconds watch now 27 seconds so that's almost a double right and you lose snr of course you lose snr because the the resolution now is is better with the voxels is smaller so everything is better but you lose as now and the scan time goes up very difficult for the patient to not do the breath hold for 27 seconds so if you choose uh, the face resolution 100 here as well so let's hover over here so if we choose the face resolution 100 percent as well that means now that you are doing everything as a true you know interpolation uh, or, or reduction in the percentage when it comes to phase and slice that means that you're acquiring now 119 119 and then three millimeter and the, this interpolation button right down here which i also had in my previous videos where you can look at that button there will control the phase encoding and the frequency encoding not the slice the slice is only controlled by slice resolution right there on a 3D sequence. This is not available on a 2D, only 3D, okay? So this is the best everything. You know, you get through everything in the box sizes, pixel sizes. You lose a lot of SNR, of course. The scan time is so high, 36 seconds. Who in the world can do a breath hold for that long? Of course, some can. Mostly can't. So let's choose 80%. So we have now 3 millimeter and we choose 80%. We gain a little bit as an R. And now we are acquiring 3.69 millimeter interpolated down to 3 millimeter. Okay. So of course we get a very, we get a good resolution now. We cut the scan time from 36 to 30 now. 
So that's how you can manipulate it. But you have to think about the scan time and the SNR. So if you want to have a higher resolution, that's a trade-off. The patient needs to do a longer breath form to gain the SNR. So let's go down to the slice thickness. Let's choose, say, for example, two millimeter. If you choose two millimeter, of course, you need more slices to cover the same area from the top to the bottom of the liver, like that. So we see now that we are, don't have the whole liver. We are now two millimeter and we choose 50%. That means that you are acquiring four millimeter and then the reconstruction is two. So it's, it's good. It's not that bad. And then the scan time, it's still too high. We went from 36 and now we are 28. We gain a little bit more SNR. The reason for SNR is that now the voxel sizes are a little bit bigger, so you get more SNR, right? But we can also see that we need more slices. So if you use the slice per slab, which is available on 3D, okay, not 2D, 3D. So we increase here to cover the whole limer. While you are doing that, you will also gain some SNR because this is a 3D sequence. Now I'm happy. 96. Uh, Slices to cover the top and the bottom of the, the limb. You gain a little bit more SNR, but the scan time is still very high. However, there are techniques to push the scan time lower, like a grappa, power imaging, high acceleration, and so on and so on. But this is the very basic what I'm about to show you here what happens if you control the slice resolution and, and the voxels. The next thing I want to show you on the 3D sequence, remember there are phase oversampling, and it's the same as the 2D. So this is AP, so in AP direction. But there's also phase encoding in the slice, okay, in the slice direction. And that means that this slice is a transversion, so you need to think about 2T. So you can get overfolding in transversion direction, which is your slice. You can also get overfolding in your phase direction, which in this case, AP. So two things you need to think about. And how do you know it's a 3D? Well, that's one reason you can see it's a 3D. Slices per slab is another reason you can see it's 3D. If you go to sequence, you can also see here the dimension is says 3D. So let's now do something a little bit crazy. We go from two millimeter to four. Let's see what happens. So we choose four and you will see now with 96 slices is too much. We don't need to cover that much. So what you do now is you cut the slices and then you can see you're able to save scan time as well. But you lose a little bit as of now. So maybe we need around 50 some. And you can see now we went from 30 over 30 to 19 okay 19 seconds or so however the one thing i want to show you let's just position that one so if you move over here it's now eight millimeter you are acquiring eight millimeter and then it related to four the reason for that is that you have 50 percent slice resolution so this is no good at all of course the patient might or can hold the breath for for 19 seconds but the Quality is not that good. All right, so let's go for 2D. Just, just want to show you the differences on a 2D. So let's go to head. Let's go to a T tool. And let's just take a transversion T2 and check that out. So you see there is no slices per slab like you saw on a 3D. There is no slice over sampling. Just like, like I told you on a 2D, it's not available like that. And you go to sequence, it says the dimension is 2D, that you know it's a 2D. As you go to resolution, there's no slice resolution here. And this interpolated function right here is only working on the phase encoding and the frequency encoding, not on the slice. So the two millimeter here is two millimeter. It's no interpolation on the, that two millimeter at all. But that's it guys, I hope you find this video interesting. I mean, it's a very difficult topic, true on that. And I've been reading very much. I've been testing out and I tried to learn this time by time by time. And uh, many times I didn't quite understand what's going on. But if you keep on learning, you will understand eventually. So nonetheless, I do have a question for you in the end of this video. Did you know about the slice resolution? If so, give a comment in the section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button to subscribe. Hit on the notification bell and you get a ding ding whenever new videos for me are coming up. I will talk with you on the next video. Take care. Peace out.